But boy, did Shoal Creek get the brunt of that flood. After weeks and weeks of no flow down there, we saw the highest crest since 2015, over 16 feet deep today. This appears to have been the fourth highest crest ever observed. So many of you sent us water of high water levels, or video rather, of these high water levels near you. This was a great perspective of Shoal Creek from Mitch Hurd, since reported at KXAN.com. And live tonight, KXAN's Brianna Hollis is outside of Shoal Creek Saloon. That is a business that had to close early today because the creek flooded, Brianna. Yeah, David, so on a normal day, you can see the creek from the patio, but this afternoon, those two things kind of became one in the same. At the moment, the creek's about 15 feet behind me. Earlier, the water went all the way up this hill, spilling through the railings onto the patio. I would have been halfway under water if I was standing here at that time. And we spoke with one of the managers about that cleanup process. Patio uh, a little wet. We got some mopping to do in the morning. No space for patrons on the patio of Shoal Creek Saloon Monday. The last major one was 2015. Uh, we've had a few close calls since then, but uh, you know it comes on the patio maybe once or twice a year. City crews prepared for the storm, but say because it's been so long since it rained like this, more debris floated through the floodwaters. The downside, though, there is a bit more debris that are uh, kind of accumulated on the banks and the waterways that, that, that will get flushed, and so you have a little bit of a um, a first flushing effect. Shoal Creek flooded all the way to North Lamar. At one point, mud still covered the road well into the evening. This is where James Valentine got stuck in his car. The guy locked up and got stuck. Everybody jumped out, helped everybody else push. Uh, we, we, it's a great community. Everybody jumped, helped each other out out here. When water or debris did cover roads, public works crews were out on standby throughout the city to put up barricades and clean up. Really unsung heroes of the city. They're also often first responders in citywide, you know, emergencies or major weather events such as this one. Most of the water at Shoal Creek eventually went back between the banks. You can now drive on North Lamar again and Shoal Creek Saloon will open back up in the morning. It came pretty quick, but uh, we were ready as we always are. And the city's watershed protection department says crews consistently clear storm drains, inlets and culverts to prevent some of that severe flooding like what we saw in Dallas today. And Public Works will continue to have crews on standby throughout the week. David.